Hi friends, welcome to Writer's Workshop. We're continuing to talk about Karma Wilson for the rest of this week. And here is a new book that we have not read yet. This is the story Bear's New Friend, written by Karma Wilson because she's our author and the illustrator is her friend, Jane Chapman. I'm gonna go ahead and read this to you today and I want you to pay attention to something for me, okay? We already know she's gonna use repetitive text. We already know she's gonna use rhyming words. But do you know what else she does? She makes her font different sizes. Now her font is her text. Now if you look in the book, when you see her words, her text, some of it's gonna be little and then get bigger. So pay attention to that because that's something that she likes to do. All right, Bear's new friend. Here's Bear in his lair. See him hiding in there? In the woods and the sun on a hot summer day, Bear feels an itching to head out and play. He goes to find Mouse, his littlest friend, but just as Big Bear heads round the bend, there's a clatter in the tree. Oh, what could it be? And the bear asks, who? Bear calls, is that Mouse who hides in the tree? but Mouse scurries up and squeals. It's not me. Bear scratches his head. Who's hiding up there? Mouse shrugs his shoulders. Perhaps it is hair. Oh, let's see if it's hair. Mouse starts to shout. Come out, friend, come out. And the bear asks, who? Do you see how the text got a little bit bigger right there? Let's keep reading and see if she does that anywhere else. Nobody answers. Who is it? Asks Bear. They peek in the tree, but nobody's there. Bear cries, no one's here. But where did they go? Then Hare hops along and says, howdy ho. I guess it wasn't Hare. Something sped, fa something sped past, going fast, fast, fast. And the bear asks, who? See, her text is getting bigger right there. Hare says, let's go follow to see what we see. Bear says, is it Badger? Who else could it be? But there by a log with gopher and mole, Badger is peering into a deep hole. Come look if you dare, there's someone down there. And the bear asks, who? Bear says, it's not us, but who is it then? I know, says Badger, it's Raven or Wren. But Raven and Wren flap down from the sky. We saw all of our friends and thought we'd fly by. Up from the ground comes a big rustling sound and the bear asks, who? Who are you down there? Who is it, I say? Why stay in that hole? Why hide the whole day? Why don't you like us? Why, 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 why? Then a trembling voice says, Because I am shy. Two eyes peek a boo and the voice says, Who? And the bear says, Hi. I wonder who it could be. Oh, maybe it's Bear's new friend. I'm Bear, howdy ho. That's Mouse and that's Hare and Gopher and Mole are standing right there. Next to those bushes sit Raven and Wren. Come swimming with us in the pool by the glen. Please do not hide, come on outside. Then the owl says, who, who? Who? Hello, I'm Owl and I'm sorry I hid. I'm just a bit bashful and that's why I did. Bear says, hello friend, come on, cries Mole. And they all scamper off to the old swimming hole. They splash and have fun in the hot summer sun with Bear's new friend. 
Who was his new friend? The owl. Yes, it was the owl. Now, did you see those words where she made him get bigger? She did. She used the text to get bigger. And sometimes authors do that because they want you to read it louder, like right here. The who, who, who. Okay, so I'm gonna add that to our chart because that's something important to remember. We could use that in our books if we wanted to. So different size text is what I'm gonna write. Now remember, text is the words. Sometimes authors make them bigger. Sometimes authors make them smaller. It's really up to the author. Okay, now let's get back to our books that we are working on. Right now you should have through page three done in your book, which is what I've got done in mine. So I'm gonna start by rereading it so I remember where I left off, okay? The same thing I want you to do to yours when you start working on yours here in just a second. Let me move this over so you can see it. Okay, so my book is called Dog Can. Dog Can Hop. Dog Can Lick. Dog Can Play. Well, today, Dog Can <gasps> Bark. Dogs Bark. I'll put that on this page. Dog Can Bark. All right, I might need your help figuring out that word bark. We're gonna have to stretch it out because I don't think I've ever written that word before. All right, so three words in my sentence, right? Dog can bark. My first word is dog, and I remember how to spell it because I've already written it a couple times. D-O-G, okay, dog. What's the next word in my sentence? Can, and that's a sight word, isn't it? It is, I know exactly how to write that. So I'm gonna write can. I'm gonna use my fingers for a space so I don't get them too close. So I've got dog, can, and my last word is bark. Oh, this is where I'm gonna have to use my ABC chart and stretch out those words. Okay, bark, b, r, k. I heard a b, like in the letter B. So that's what I'm gonna write first. What was that next sound we said? B, R, K. R, do you hear it? So should I write the letter R? I'm gonna write the letter R, just like it looks on the ABC chart, the lowercase. B, R, K, K. What do you hear? K. What letter says K? K, so let me write the letter K. Dog can bark. Good, okay, I'm gonna put my period at the end because we can't forget that, can we? Now I need my illustration and it needs to be of dog barking, right? You know what I could do since he's talking, he's barking? I could use, I could write it up here and put it in a speech bubble. That would be a good idea. Karma Wilson doesn't always use speech bubbles, but that's okay because I'm my own author, so I know how to do that. All right. Let's see, let me get dog on here. There's dog's ears. And dog's tail. Oh, and you know what? Dog is going to bark, bark, bark. I think I should probably write my words first so I've got room for my speech bubble. Let's see. Bark, bark. Let me put that in the speech bubble so we know that dog is the one saying it. All right, the only thing I have left is to make sure I color in dog so he's not see-through, right? And I'll go ahead and do that. And while I'm doing that, I need you to work on your next page. So you should be on page four today, okay? You should have your front cover and three pages done. Today is page four of what happens next in your story, all right? Don't forget 
to get out your pencil rubric and your ABC chart and all of the different supplies you need to help you with your story. And when you're done, take a picture and send it to us so that we can see it. All right, have fun writing. Bye.